Hey guys, and welcome to my part of the New Orleans offensive ebook. I'm going to be focusing on two formations. First, the uh, gun tight offset tight end, how I run that one. And then we're going to move on to the gun empty Y Saint formation. Then I'm going to go over a couple things uh, I like to do if the defense gives us certain looks. But for now, we're just going to start here in the gun tight offset tight end formation with the play Y out HB swing. And what I like to do with this entire, really, uh, playbook is to come out in this um, in this set. And basically what we're going to do is use the uh, package called HB1. And what that actually does is it gives you uh, four wide receivers instead of three wide receivers and one tight end. And that can give you a really good uh, speed advantage here with this A or X receiver who is normally going to be a tight end. Now you can get a fast, speedy receiver there in that spot. And it's going to go open up a lot of options uh, for us here. Uh, you can position your receivers however you'd like, um, depending on certain factors like uh, superstar abilities. If you have like a um, post corner specialist, I like to put him here in the slot for this play. Um, but then if you have a streak specialist, I'll move him around. I'll go over that a little bit later. Um, but this is the main uh, one of the main bread and butter plays from my version of running this gun tight offset tight end formation. Um, again, plays Y out HB swing. All I'm going to do to set this play up is just put this A receiver on an in route. Now I'm running it here against random defenses. Now it looks like this is a cover three. Or I should say cover two. And against cover two, you're just going to lead it, uh, lead past that over the cornerback in the flat zone. Against any other defense, uh, cover one, cover two, cover or cover two man, um, cover four, you're going to throw to this wire triangle receiver by lead passing down. But again, here we're going to lead pass up to him, and then we're going to possession catch along that sideline. So I'm just going to run it through a couple more times and throw to that wire receiver. This time it's man-to-man -man defense. We're going to lead pass to the sideline on his break. And like I mentioned earlier, this does really help if you have a post-corner route specialist or really anybody with elite route running here um, in the wire triangle position. This is another cover too, looks like it's a hard flat. The reads for this play are just really easy if you uh, if you can read the defense right when you snap the ball. So if it's cover two, you kind of lead pass up. If it's any other defense, you lead pass to the sideline, maybe down a little bit, depending on what the defense is giving you. So I think you guys get the picture with this corner route. Now, what makes this play special is that we have this drag route by the X or square receiver. We also have this in route. And that in route member, now it's being run by a wide receiver who probably has better route running, better speed, and will likely be matched up against a linebacker or a safety. And then you just read between the two of those. So let's just assume that um, that wire triangle receiver is covered. Now you have two really good underneath options. The other thing is, is because of that way that B receiver runs his post route, a lot of people are going to follow that deep uh, just because they're going to think, hey, maybe that post route is going to get wide open. There we obviously would have hit the wire triangle receiver. But I'm just kind of showing you that you can read between the X receiver on the drag and the A receiver on the in route. And it's going to make it really tough for your opponent to cover all of it there. Remember, first read's always the wire triangle receiver, but if that's not open, a lot of times someone might use or defend it. A lot of times people will see this formation and they'll think, oh, I know that play. That wire triangle receiver is going to get open. Um, then he's going to kind of dart out there to the left. Maybe he might be able to dart down on the A receiver on the uh, in route if he reads it perfectly, which is why most times we're going to throw it to that X receiver because the user is going to be on the completely other side of the field. Now, one other little wrinkle I want to add in here um, with my way of running this is if you see a cover three style defense, what we're going to do here, just find the formation. And you're going to see gun tight offset tight end and you use this right stick to use the half back one package. Y out HB swing. Now we're going to go to a cover three style defense. Doesn't really matter what type of cover three, although it will not work as well against cover three match. Now we're just going to put this A receiver on a streak route. 
I like to double team the outside most pass rusher there on the left, and we're just going to drift to the left. The drifting is important because it takes a lot of time for this player to develop. Then we just lead pass up and over that left cornerback's head in the deep blue zone. He's going to get sucked down on the corner route the wire triangle receiver is running. The safety is going to have to chill in the middle of the field with our A or X receiver on that streak route. And if we can get the time, that's going to leave that B receiver wide open. Lead pass away from that deep safety. Usually you want to rack catch it and you're looking at a touchdown. The key to this uh, cover three version um, getting open is getting time, which is why we double team this guy. And we, we kind of just drift to the left. Yeah, the way you drift is important because if you just run out there, you're going to get sacked. If you stay too close to the middle, um, you're probably going to get sacked. So you double team that outside guy and then you kind of just drift. 